Hi everyone, it's L here to do the daily read, okay? So this is for all signs. Um, this is the daily, the collective energy for everyone. So let's go, Ten of Swords, Judgment, the High Priestess, Temperance, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And I don't reverse any of my cards. Um, It looks like spirit is working with a lot of you, especially my single people. There, there might have been an ending, and it brought you to a, a state of mind, a state of existing where you trust nothing and you trust nobody, and your guard is all the way up because of this betrayal. But spirit is saying we're bringing something back around to you. Or we're wanting you to look at a situation in a new light, in a different direction. Go in a different direction or look at something with a new set of eyes. Um, your intuition about this situation or about this person is spot on. It might even be the, a twin flame connection here. Or something like a soulmate connection. Someone that you have a really strong draw to and you have really strong ties with. Um... It looks like they may be coming to you and, and offering something in the near future. And Spirit is trying to ready you energetically, mentally, emotionally for this offer. Because it might bring you to the place of where you're no longer single. Where you don't have to create and maintain your abundance, whatever that may be, monetarily, energetically, emotionally, alone. A partnership that very well may be um, on the horizon for a lot of you. But you have to do something spiritually and energetically for this to happen. A lot of you have to let down the guard of, if it's an upright, I'm single, I'm, I'm set. I don't need anything. I don't want anything. Um, my standards are super high. Uh, I'm super independent. You know. A lot of you are being asked to go deeper. Within yourself. Within your emotions. Within your, your thought pattern about partnership. Yes, this happened. Maybe with the same person that will be coming back. But it's something here that you have to work through and work around. Okay. Got two butterfly cards. Sobriety. Relationship dynamics. Definitely. Um, sobriety, of course, talks about, you know, um, being free of influence chemical influence um you also also can talk about be, being free of other influence whether it's a person it's uh, mentally uh someone is influencing you or it's what you look at it's what you read is sobriety is when you can trust your intuition completely and fully Especially when the universe is bringing something back to you to look at with a new set of eyes. You're so sober in your thinking, your intuition, and your feelings, and your thought pattern that you can make the best decision for you. Relationship dynamics. Someone has entered, exited the relationship, coming back, retrograde, um... Now the dynamic of a particular relationship has been altered or will be altered. You can no longer hide from that or you can no longer run from it. Um, what will you do in the midst of these relationship dynamics? Uh, some, some, for some of you, the tables are turning. Um, you were completely all in and super interested. And the other person was... Um, you know the runner you were chasing and, and they were running you could very well be running and now they're chasing or there could be or you could be in a relationship someone has entered the relationship uh, there's a third party and now it's making the dynamic of this particular relationship 
so different and so um, challenging. So you have to face those th those issues also. I hope that this reading resonated with you, gave you a bit of clarity about your situation. I'm going to leave you with a quote. Let's see. Where are we going? Well, it's Sunday for me. So let's see. What quote do you want? Oh, I like this one. Okay, show me a self-centered person and I'll show you a dissatisfied person because there is nothing in self that can satisfy. Derek Prince. Um, so yeah, if you're dealing with a narcissistic, self-righteous, self-centered person, they're probably miserable and making you miserable and unhappy because there's nothing in self that completely satisfies us. We were built and made for partnership. Um, work on yourself so that you can have a healthy partnership. All right, remember to stay in prayer. I'm praying for you guys. Pray for me as well. Take care until next time.